Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Right now we are currently taking a walk around our, what is our backyard or what could be our backyard. Now you can tell behind me as I walk through this, there is a ton of just little Christmas trees everywhere. It looks like it has been logged and this is the growth in the last just few years. Not, not very big trees in here. A couple of quality Christmas trees. It's actually a ton of Christmas trees on this property, which is pretty cool. But we are going to come out here today, and today's project is going to be making a backyard. And the plan is this. We're going to go through, and we're going to cut down all these immature trees. And then we are going to come through, and we're going to pick up all of these old logs, all of this old stuff that is obviously from uh, them logging at some point. Try to get you guys out of the sun. Uh, unfortunately the backyard you get to watch the sun rise right over the top of it and it's early in the morning so that's what you get to see now we're gonna be clearing the backyard for a couple of reasons guys one being that it is just too thick the kids can't play back here at all there's just tiny little trees everywhere and we are not going to uh, we're not gonna allow this to grow into a forest we want to have a grass backyard right so the kids can play and uh, you know just kind of improve the landscaping of the property Two, as you can see behind me, um, this stuff is very thick, which again, has it's kind of a, a repeat theme on this channel. We keep talking about predators. Uh, having this thick area like this allows predators to get much closer to the house. Now, having kids, having animals, those are situations that you want to prevent from happening. So we're going to open it up to stop predators from being able to get much closer. Number three. Now the house has a really good buffer around it for fire danger. We live in an area where fire danger is very real. We live with it. Uh, we've been living with it all summer. We've been living with it ever since we've lived here. Uh, fire danger is just a problem. But as you can see, stuff like this is just fuel for a fire. So if a fire was to come over the back or up the hill, it would be creeping right up to the back of our house, which we don't want. And this stuff right here is going to fuel it and push that fire. So fire danger, predators, landscaping. Now there is a lot here to do. Um, there's a lot of trees to cut, which means we're gonna go fire up the chainsaw here and get to work. It is starting to get really warm already, so it's probably gonna be a pretty hot day. Um, but we're gonna get the entire family out here, get everyone working on it and see how much we can get done in one day. This is going to be a multi-day project. Once we finally get all of these trees out of the way, we then have to go through, pick up all that underbrush, get it into a pile, um, separate it between stuff that we can chip, stuff that we probably just need to burn. And then we're gonna bring the tractor out here and we're gonna smooth out everything in this area. Now this whole area, you guys can't tell, you just can't see it, but this whole area is basically a rolling knob. So what we're going to be doing is semi-flattening it out, but still keeping a bit of that knob. Uh, down on this side is a crick, down on that side over the hill is a crick, and then down over this way is just a little cut. Um, something that probably is, is a natural runoff at some point, uh, but we're going to basically be clearing the little knoll around that. Okay, lots to do. Here's the final pan. When we come back in and we do that pan again, you're gonna see an open yard.
that weed whacker knocking down all those those ferns really make a difference to open all this up. Uh, it is it is 11 o'clock, which uh, right now currently in the woods, 11 o'clock is the time that they are wanting everyone to shut down cutting. Uh, there's a restriction on cutting, uh, firewood, logging, that sort of thing. So we're, uh, we are abiding by those guidelines as well. So what we're gonna do is stop cutting with the chainsaw, stop mowing with the mower. And the reason for all that is because of the fire danger. It's because of the heat, uh, because of the tools that produce friction and heat and could possibly potentially start a fire. So um, we don't wanna add to that. So we're not going to. So we are pretty much done for today other than uh, cleaning up, dragging some more stuff over to the pile and then just cleaning up these little areas. Uh, you know, there's some old stumps in here that need to be cut. A lot of these old stumps like this, this old cottonwood tree here is like, it's literally like cutting sawdust already. As soon as you go through it, the saw just cuts like butter. The stuff is just rotted. So it's just a matter of getting this whole mess chopped up and moved. And then uh, you guys can potentially see right there on the tree line and around. I just marked it with some pink ribbons. That is as far as we are going to go. That gives us a nice backyard, if you will. So you can see there's a good bit more to go. A lot of that is just really immature trees and then a lot of those ferns as well. So a couple more, probably a couple more days of clearing stuff out. Only getting to work till 11 as far as the cutting goes. But this thing should be probably ready to bring a tractor in in about three days, I'm hoping. But for today, guys, that is it. So thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button, and we will catch you on the next one. Put him in there.